I have a bit of a demo here on my progress on the uh, grammars for uh, TextMate in general, I, apparently, but uh, this is specifically being packaged for Visual Studio Code. Uh, just because I did critique the one Alessandro De Sol did, and also critiqued uh, GPS, both of which essentially presenting themselves as finished products that should do a much better job. Uh, still working on this. I've mostly got the .adc grammar uh, working, which is considerably simpler because it's just it, it's the um, NAT configuration file. It's just a list of pragmas. Um, but it does... I got it working with a level of depth that... I would expect out of a finished product. A few little things I gotta finish up, but you can you can see that this depth is possible, and that I'm also not just talking out my ass or slandering things. That I'm saying this is in like this should be better because it can be better. So if we bring up the scope inspector, you can see that for this line, it does mark the literally the whole thing as a meta dot pragma. Uh, but this part specifically is recognized as a keyword, which is appropriate because it is a keyword. This is also recognized as a directive because it is a directive. This is one of the known pragmas. And of course, one of the nice things about going with that approach, we'll drop that down here. Uh, one of the nice things about going with that approach is that you can correctly uh, highlight known pragmas and also mark other pragmas as incorrect. So like if we, well, I don't have that working yet, apparently. Oh, yeah, because of the way I'm checking for it. Yeah, because uh, right now I'm just doing... Oh, where was it? Where was it? Yeah, here. That just any word is the uh, is the directive. In this specific case, is the pragma. Uh, so I'd want to update that with the actual list of, uh, of known pragmas. Because then then it will be able to correctly mark a correct pragma versus an incorrect pragma, which you want. The big point behind syntax highlighting is to help you identify and make sense of the code easier. And obviously a huge uh, benefit is marking correct pragmas versus incorrect pragmas, because you can basically treat them like keywords. Just keywords that should only appear in a specific location. That is, after a pragma keyword. But then to go a little bit further, you can see once we go into the parentheses, you see meta arguments. And I think I showed this earlier when I clicked on it. But that it also does recognize the semicolon at the end of this as a punctuation dot terminator. And the meta pragmas and meta arguments both work on repeating lines. So that'll eventually pave the way for things like, oh, I can turn this off now. These, the positional notation for one of the parameters or arguments of the pragma being highlighted appropriately and not confused for the identical syntax but different semantics that aspects have. Because with an aspect, this would be the aspect's name. Whereas with the pragma, this, this, right before the arrow in both cases, is not the pragma's name, but is the parameter or argument's name. So, yeah, I'll continue on this. Uh, when I get the .adc finished, like everything is identified. Uh, I'll publish a beta of these grammars. Uh, there's literally nothing in the GPR, by the way. Uh, I'll, I'll 
do that last, but this is just an empty file. I don't even think I have it marked in package.json as anything that exists. Um, but all the stuff with the pragmas in here can be directly copied over because they have the same grammar to the uh, to the general ADA grammar, and then I can build up the rest of the stuff. So, yeah, better is coming, just takes a while.